What is going on, everybody? Tanner Pfeiffer here with Pfeiffer Football. Thank you so much for tuning into my videos. Um, the support on my channel lately has been great, so appreciate you guys. If you're returning, means a lot. And if you're new here, welcome. And uh, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I provide daily NFL news. Um, but today I want to talk about the Pittsburgh Steelers and running back Najee Harris and your fantasy football leagues because right now I am not high on Najee Harris. I would sell him, I would trade him even if you can get anything out of him at the moment. I know he got hurt in yesterday's game against the Colts um, and he was ruled out with an abdomen injury. I don't know the extent of that injury. I really don't, um, and I haven't seen any reports this morning about his injury. I'm sure we will later today, but right now, if you guys are able to sell high on Najee Harris, even if, I don't even know if you can sell high on Najee Harris, but you get, you gotta get out, you gotta get rid of him. Um, I just don't see it happening. I'm not saying pick up Jalen Warren, his backup running back. I'm not saying pick him up and start him or anything. I'm just saying Jalen Warren has provided it looks like more production. Like when he touches the ball, it just looks better than when Najee Harris touches the ball. Yes, Najee Harris has gotten 20 rush attempts the last two games. Before last night, he got 10 rushes um, and then got hurt. But Najee Harris, I just don't think has been what people thought he was going to be. Um, you know, from an Alabama running back who was expected to be a workhorse guy. He had 307 rush attempts as a rookie, 1,200 yards rushing. He did average 3.9 yards per carry. Not the best, honestly, but he got so many rushing yards as a rookie because the amount of touches. But he really wasn't that productive touching the ball. Um, he did have 74 receptions as a rookie, which is insane amount for a running back you know it's it's i mean that's 74 fantasy points right that right there if you're in ppr um he did average 6.3 yards per reception and three touchdowns as a rookie but in seven touchdowns rushing but since then guys in 11 games this season Najee harris 158 rush attempts 585 yards four touchdowns 3.7 yards per carry that's 0.2 yards less than he was averaging last year. His career so far, 3.8 yards per carry, 63.8 yards per game. He's just not producing like you would expect Najee Harris to produce. Um, and like I said, he's injured right now. So I think your best to just try to trade him away. Honestly, if you're in a keepers league, maybe someone can try to keep him for next year. Sell high while you can, get him off your bench. Even if he is on your bench, just try to trade him. You know, try to trade him, sell, just sell if you can honestly i wouldn't drop him try to get what you can out of him but i mean let's just take a look at what jalen warren his backup has done not fantasy football wise even though i will say Najee harris in my league right now is 21st ranked running back in the nfl that's just not good you're not a top 10 to 15 running back you don't even need to be on my bench um i guess it depends how many teams you have in your league if you're a 10-man league yeah you probably want them on your bench just in case but if you're in like a 12-man league just try to get what you can out of Najee Harris I guess um, but as a rookie so far Jalen Warren um, he's appeared in 10 games 38 rush attempts 190 yards zero rushing touchdowns but he is averaging exactly five yards per rush attempt um, 19 rushing yards per game. I do believe if they give this guy more touches, he could be way more productive than Najee Harris. Um, he's got 18 targets in the receiving game, 16 catches. I don't know what percentage that is, but that's like definitely almost 100%. I mean, 16 catches on 18 targets, really, really good. 8.6 yards per catch. Um, and as long as receiving or his longest catch of the year went for 26 yards. Oh, it looks like it's a catch rate of 88.9%. So he's just been really productive out of the backfield as well. Um, every time uh, Jalen Warren touches the ball, he's been productive. Him and Najee Harris are the same age. They're both 24 years old. 24 years old as a rookie is kind of concerning, but you know, if you're a running back, you got like five to six prime years. Um, if you're a fantasy football PPR, man, it's just Najee Harris isn't working out. There's other options around the league that people have found. Um, I know Damian Pierce has had kind of a bad few weeks, but I expect the Texans to get back to their running game and rely on Damian Pierce. And if I were you, I would try to maybe include it. Get Pierce, see if you can sell Najee, maybe get Pierce back because he's had a few bad weeks. Um, I, I feel like Pierce's ceiling is way up here compared to Najee Harris. You guys tell me your thoughts down below. I just wanted to get your thoughts on this. Um, I'm not 
a fantasy football expert, but these are just my concerns, especially now that he's injured. Tell me your thoughts, guys. If you're new to my channel, thank you so much for tuning in. Like I said, smash that subscribe button. Stay sweet as always, and I'll see you guys in the next video.